Realtorsgroup.com. NMLS number 378844, regulated by the Division of Real Estate. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Angel is on a vacation. You've got me, Eric Bramer, hanging out with you today. And uh, we just got done talking about the five things that strong leaders do. And I uh, just wanted to, to cap that and, and then uh, to transition the conversation a little bit. Uh, being tough and, and tough in leadership requires assertiveness, requires collaboration. Uh, it co- requires um, working on ideas and striving to influence others to turn I- those same ideas into action. And you have to guide, you have to lead, you have to persuade and move your people to achieve those results. Only then you'll be able to uh, to, to achieve the, the goals that you really set for yourself. Here we are. It is uh, beginning week of July. We've got, uh, gosh, we've got five and a half months left in the year. I don't know how many shopping days that is till Christmas, but uh, folks, you know, it's coming. So, so don't, don't be uh Overly alarmed or uh, surprised when that comes happens every December. Let's talk a little bit about risk. You know, small business entrepreneurs and, and, and small business owners, they don't get into small business without understanding that there is always going to be a certain element of risk. And even if the next move for you doesn't imply or or, or scare you with, with a whole lot of risk associated with it. There's always risk associated when you are the decision maker. You're the one who, who uh, at, the, at the end of the day, your doors either stay open or closed based upon whether or not that move proved profitable. So in a recent podcast for Harvard B- Business School, uh, Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey defined entrepreneurship in terms of risk taking, he says this, the definition of entrepreneurship is actually taking on significant risk, usually financial, in order to build something. That means anyone can really take on an entrepreneurial attitude. An entrepreneur does not necessarily create a business. It's just a very bold attitude of taking on risk. It's an interesting uh, take, Jack Dorsey's, uh, on the lifestyle of an entrepreneur. You know, what do we do as entrepreneurs? What did we do? We gave up the nine to five cush job to dive into the world of half days, right? You know, the half days, 9am to 9pm. And we gave up somebody else paying for the electricity, somebody else paying for the, the, the lease of the office space or whatever it is you might have the brick and mortar somebody else paying for your insurance, somebody else paying for, we gave all that up in an effort to follow our dreams, to go where we wanted to go, to make things happen the way that we wanted, to be in control. And what we did was we exchanged all the comfort for risk. It's not a bad thing. It just is. So, how do you take on a bold attitude for that next risky step? It's not as difficult as it sounds. Here are a couple of ways you can do this according to Jennifer Chang. Number one, we need to fight the negativity bias. Here at the Experience Pros Radio Show, we are very proud of saying that we are the positive business talk show, right? The uh, the moniker was given to us by um, Dr. Ivan Meisner of uh, BNI. He's he's the gentleman who found the world's largest networking organization. We've had him on the broadcast before, and it was on our radio show that he says, I hereby declare the experienced pros, the most positive business talk show in America. The important thing to understand about that is we've drawn a line in the sand and said, we won't go negative. We're not going to be negative in in our presentation or 
a disposition on the radio or in life, because folks, you can't have it both ways. You know, I remember people say, well, I, I've got my uh, Facebook profile and my Facebook profile is, I've got one profile for my college days where uh, I did all the things that college kids do. And then I've got another one for my professional career. And, and hopefully nobody sees the other side. That's not real life. Real life is you are who you are. You're the college kid and the professional. And so we mix and merge those two things. And, uh, and you've got this, you got to fight that negativity bias that is out there everywhere. It is so easy to go negative. I am the king of struggling with this sometimes because the, the bis, first disposition that I want to take is to say, ah, somebody did me wrong. When in fact, nobody can do you wrong. How you interpret what they do, what you do with what they do, that is the question. Mark Zuckerberg, you may recognize that name, the founder of Facebook, says the biggest risk is not taking any risk. In a world that's changing really quickly, the only strategy that's guaranteed to fail is not taking risks. All right. Risky behaviors everywhere. Instead of fixating on the consequences of a risk you're never attempted, try to evaluate this, the entire scenario, including potential hazards of maintaining the status quo. This is, this is the difference between me and uh, many of the people that I have, have worked with over the years, including my ex-wife. And it involves this. I believe it's, there's a, a practical opportunity for us to look at all the, the elements of what's happening uh, ahead. No matter, you know, I'll give you an example. What could go wrong? If you start thinking about what could go wrong and then solving and problem solving for that, even before it ever got, goes wrong, I believe you're a step ahead of the game because you, you've, you've, you've put it out there and said, you know something? I'm going to plan for the worst and hope for the best. Other people say, oh, no, no, no. I hear no evil. I see no evil. Therefore, there must be no evil. I find that a little narrow, narrow-sighted, if you will. Uh, so consider this. You've got to fight the negativity, risky behavior, realizing that it's everywhere. Take it on and plan ahead. Focus on potential hazards and by focusing on those, you'll probably navigate around them. Be intelligent with the risks that you take. Taking on a, um, a huge debt load when you don't have the, uh, the, the revenue or the volume to take that on responsibly, but you have the hope that if I take on this $100,000 loan, someone's going to buy my widget, that is... That is not intelligent risk taking. So make sure, and if you don't, if you are blind to your own unintelligent risk taking, find somebody, a business coach, a tax advisor, a CPA, a lawyer, somebody who will help you realize that there's another side to this and we need to explore it. We may pick this conversation up a little bit later in the program. When we come back, friend Daryl Stern of Stern Storming is in the house. You're going to love it. We'll be back right after these messages. This is the Experience Bros Radio Network. The Experience Bros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. I'm Chuck Campbell, look CNBC, a mixed finish for stocks today. The Dow dropped one point, but the NASDAQ picked up 40, and the S&P added three. Defense company stocks rose because they stand to make more money from rising tensions with North Korea. Volvo says it will phase out gasoline engine cars in 2019 and only make hybrid. Auto parts seller O'Reilly lost a fifth of its value today. Sales and profits are down because O'Reilly's core customers, low-income families, are not spending much money right now. Novo Nordisk is recalling some of its Novo Pen insulin cartridges because under certain conditions, they can crack or break. True Religion has gone bankrupt because fewer people are buying its specialized fancy jeans. And the bikini is 71 years old today. American women spend more than $8 billion a year on those two-piece suits. The average bikini costs about $24, 
The average woman owns four. Chuck Kamlick, CNBC. Lars Larson believes Obamacare was a death sentence. Because of the mandates, they were sold a plan that cost them so much in premiums. Some of those people likely looked at that and said, well, I'm going to go to the doctor as little as I possibly can. People don't go to the doctor. The condition they had was serious. They don't get early treatment. And then either it costs a whole lot more money to fix it or it doesn't get fixed at all because you die. The Lars Larson Show, weeknights at 8 on Money Talk, 1690 AM. Want to know what's next in the political scene, both locally and nationally? Tune into the AmeriChicks on your drive home every weekday from 5 to 6 p.m. and share your opinions. The AmeriChicks, with hosts Kim Monson and Molly Vogt, encourage open discussion on today's issues and focus on right versus wrong instead of left versus right. Tune into Denver's only female-hosted call-in show on your drive home. The AmeriChicks air every weekday evening at 5 p.m. right here on 1690 AM KDMT, Denver's Money Talk. Sponsored in part by the Western Conservative Summit, July 21st through July 20th. Third, get your tickets today. Did you know that every dollar you put into a piece of real estate makes you money five ways? Cash flow, money in your pocket each month. Equity capture, the thousands of dollars you create when you have the right team and buy the right property using the right map. Appreciation, real estate doubles in value about every 20 years. Equity buildup, renters pay down your mortgage each month. And finally, the tax advantage. We pay almost no taxes on our cash flow and capital gains. These are the five ways we make money in real estate, which is why real estate accounts for more millionaires in the world today than any other investment vehicle. You should have some real estate in your portfolio. To learn how, attend one of our free workshops. Call 866-971-8970 or go to 5wayswemakemoney.com and register for the next available workshop. That's 866-971-8970 or go to 5wayswemakemoney.com. So what would you do with an extra $500 a month in your budget? 500 bucks. This isn't hypothetical, by the way. This is something you may need to think about very soon if you decide to become a member of MediShare. MediShare is a way to pay for your health care, and typically it costs $500 less per month for a family versus other health care plans. So seriously, think about this. You could pay off loans, pay down a mortgage, save the money for retirement, donate to charity. That would be a big deal. But you know what? Here's the best thing. MediShare works. It has 250,000 members and it's growing fast. With MediShare, not only do you save, you don't have to pay for things you don't believe in either. And that is a beautiful thing too. So here's how you can find out more and you might actually wind up saving even more than $500 a month. So check into it. Here's the number. Call 844-41-BIBLE. That's 844-41-BIBLE. Now available in Montana. Call 844-41-BIBLE. Bible. One of the more popular remodeling projects these days is replacement windows. Why? Your old windows aren't nearly as efficient as the modern technology. And you and I both know stuff wears out. Hi, Dan Cicchini, owner of Dunright Windows and Doors. And why Dunright? The best answer to why is why not? Todd? Well, Dad, there's no reason not to, but lots of reasons too, such as top quality windows and doors built to size and fit many budgets, lots of color and style options, expert installers that are employees, not subcontractors, decades in business, fair pricing, satisfaction guaranteed, and the list goes on. Oh, and at Dunright, they'll find full service installations, completely finished, nothing left for them to do, but enjoy. And of course, Todd, we've got to mention our highly efficient, beautiful patio doors. So folks, give us a call. Kitchens, baths, counters, and floors. And of course, replacing windows and doors, you have our word, we'll treat you right at Dunright. 303-722-2295, 800-362-8370, or DunrightWindows.com. Mm. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag FanBrag or calling the Fan Bragging Hotline at 855 Fan Brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel on vacation. So uh, you've got me, Eric, hanging out with you. Thank you for tuning in. We are always grateful. If you'd like to comment or uh, connect with us on the program, a couple of different ways you can do that. We've opened up the, uh, the the bat line, if you will, 
303-632-4160. You can call in and give your opinion and or questions, answers, whatever you'd like to contribute to the program. Similarly, we have the Facebook Live that is uh, b- being broadcast now, and you can reach out down and comment on any of those things. And with your comments, we'll add that to the program as uh, as is appropriate. Sitting in with us today is our good friend Daryl Stern of Stern Storming. Daryl, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing fantastic. How are you, Eric? You know, it, it is, it's been a great weekend. I keep saying it's a weekend. It's hard <laughs> for me to imagine what day it is. It's hard to, to figure out because the 4th of July landed on a, on a Tuesday this week, but I'm good. And I'll, I'll tell you something, Daryl. Um, there's an excitement in the, in the business community going on. People are excited because they're, we're at the halfway point in the, in the year mm-hmm. and we're growing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and if you're not growing, boy, you sure need to listen to what Daryl's about to talk about. You say there's a difference between personal branding and business branding. Yes. What is it? So, Here's what I wanted to, to talk to you about that. So back in the day, you know, we thought, let's make a business for ourselves. We'll call it this, right? We'll make a brand. We'll make a business, right? right? Yep. Okay. So for 20 years, I've been marketing myself as Stern Inbound Marketing or Stern Media Marketing, whatever, like as this business, as this marketing agency. Now I'm right. looking at all the young people that have come up through social media that have grown up with Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and all of that. And a sure. lot of them are their own brand. In other words, they have created a following just around themselves, just around who they are. There is no big other corporate name or company name. And it's fascinating because it opens amazing doors for you as a person who wants to be, you know, do all these different things. Let's yes. give an example. I know what you're talking about, but but for the listener who's just driving down the interstate right now, uh, give an example of somebody. I'm thinking of Ginny. Uh, right. And I don't know her last name, but she's uh, she's in the UK uh, mm-hmm. currently. Yep. Uh, but that's not where she was born. Yes. And and she's taken her personal brand on the road. What, what has she done? Well, yeah. Ginny Can Breathe just started on Snapchat, what, two, three years ago. Kept at it. Kept at it. Was always persistent with it. Sending cards all over the place of her Snapchat code. And now she works for the BBC and she's on a nationwide you know, speaking tour. But it was all, all just about Snapchat, all about her and her life and her right. content. Yes. You know, that people are tuning in you know, like a TV station. Billy Mann is a comedian. He was almost in the uh, Olympics, right? Was injured. He was on, almost going to be in the Olympics. Didn't know what to do with himself. He's kind of a funny guy. So again, started just being funny, just being himself, cracking these one liners. And now he's been all over the world on tour and all that. Another one is String Story. Now, she is a little bit different. She she branded this name called String Story. Okay. And her real name is Suzanne. But but she, again, was one of the first people to monetize, like, her Snapchat following, her Instagram following. She has an ebook for sale. She would start to monetize it and could build up that branding. Has she made any money monetizing it? Well, I'll, I'll, I don't Sorry, know the exact probably. amount, but I'll tell you this, she's she's currently on a worldwide fried chicken tour. She loves fried chicken. That is her favorite thing. And I, she was here for Boulder Startup Week here in Boulder, Colorado, was then on to Chicago, was then on to New York, and now is in Hong Kong on her worldwide fried chicken tour. Can Just, I go on a worldwide taco tour? There you are. Why not? I don't know. Do it. How? So here's what. <laughs> how <laughs> I want that. Well, listen, believe it, believe it or not, you know, as we talk about, you know, on social media, be yourself, right. do what you love to do. Sure. There's another gentleman by the name of Chocolate Johnny, and he was just here. He's from Australia. He was just out at the amazing social media day yeah. that was put together by Joel Kahn and Aaron Sell. They did a great job. I got right. to meet these people I knew from all over the world from Snapchat and Instagram, but he runs a chocolate you know, factory, right, in Australia and just started playing around and being funny and doing funny stuff on Snapchat. He would do something where he'd take his name Chocolate Johnny? His name is Chocolate Johnny, yes. He's a he's a confectioner, confectioner, you know. know, Yeah. Yeah. So and he just started having fun on Snapchat. And sure enough, he's got orders coming in worldwide for his chocolate. Now he'll do something funny just to give you an example, right? To play games, right? Right. Instead of we're selling and selling, he'll do something where he'll take a picture of himself and they'll say, take a screenshot of this, draw something on my face, like draw another character, you know, of me on my face and send it back to me and I'll put it out through my Snapchat channel. People and people participate. That old term we call engagement. I did something really bad once and I need to confess. What is that? Well, we had a poster and it was of Angel and and me standing side by side, but it was, uh, the, the poster wasn't, it got damaged, and so it was going to be thrown away. Mm-hmm. And I, I blacked out one of her teeth. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. That wasn't good for her personal branding right. then. Uh, no, probably not. No. Nobody saw it except Nobody for saw it, though? me and, and her and her okay. husband. Well, that's and then, good. And their husband blacked out one of my eyes. Well, there, <laughs> yeah. there you so, go. Back and uh, forth. Uh, right. Back and forth. Our guest is Daryl Stern. Uh, Stern Storming. And he is uh, he's talking about uh, the difference between personal brand and, and uh, a business brand. And more and more now, our personal brand, we've always said, where you go, your brand follows, which right. kind of bridges the gap between those two mm-hmm. right um but but daryl how do we how do we go about developing a personal brand if we don't really I, I don't feel special well everyone is special in their own way and is a gift to the world but what i would say is the first step simple step yeah. go and register your domain name of your name the exact way you spell it go get an instagram account with your name go get you know a snapchat account go get all, right. all these different so what's tom smith supposed to do well, Tom Smith can usually add something onto his name, right? All right. That has something to do with so what he Tom, does. Tom like Smith sneaker. Tom Smith sneaker. Salesman. Tom Smith j- the jazz man or right. something like yeah. that. He plays okay. jazz music All or right. whatever it is. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then start to put yourself out there as that. So there were people at the at the social media, you know, day who are business consultants, branding consultants, all that kind of stuff. And their domain name is just their name. Right. It's just them. What happens to that is they then get invited to speak at events. They then go, you know, and get invited to be on interviews and all this stuff. There's a local guy here named Matt. His, his, his little tag is handshaken because he literally has hand has shook the hand of so many famous, amazing people. And he even got, you know, uh, interviews with top CEOs and stuff. And they asked, and he even asked them, he said, why, why would you accept my, you know, request? And they said, well, because of your following, because you right. have a really strong brand behind you and all these people are interested in what you're doing. So of course I want to be on there and, and be with you and do an interview with you. Daryl, is it, is it the exception rather than the rule? Are we talking to the, the few rather than the many, uh, when it comes to, to personal branding and hoping to get, you know, Ginny can breathe has, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of followers. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you got your, your Ashton Kutcher, Kutcher who has right. how many millions of followers, mm-hmm. but they're the exception. Is it, are we, are we, are we giving advice to people who will never ever really achieve that level of, of success? Well, there are two main rules of marketing, Yeah, whether it's your business or your personal consistency and persistence. Yeah. That's it. That's your money's worth right there, folks, on the Experience Pros radio show. Consistency and persistence. Yes, four years. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Like literally four years. You de- you decide this is who I'm going to be. I'm going to start putting myself out there. I'm going to start, you know, getting people out there. There are people that are housewives who play guitar who are on Snapchat. I was just on Periscope on my Apple TV and discovered a folk singer who's, you know, just really tremendous and go out and bought her album the other night on, you know, the year before 4th of July. People are just broadcasting themselves wow. and what they do and what they love to do. And it's just a world of discovery. The world of broadcasting and all that is changing because I can tune in to this person that I like who sings, who dances, who tells jokes, who gives me cooking recipes, whatever it is. And it's just their channel. It's just that. Right. I'm, I'm blown away by this so much more that we could talk about before we do, though. We've got about a minute left. Tell us about Stern Storming Live 2. Sure. Stern Storming Live 2 is our second workshop. It's going to be a three-day workshop. Uh, Dan Fowler is coming to Denver again. He's going to do a full day of his gamification curriculum. Dan Fowler with uh, Imagination IQ. Yes, with yep. Imagination IQ. Uh, Mythica is coming back to do body painting. Faith Young is doing her manifesting in abundance. Uh, we now have um, uh, Anastasia Button, who is an amazing young author who talks right. to millennials. And Angel Tussie is going to be speaking to you. And Eric, you'll be there as well. I will be there. Uh, looking forward to it. Gosh, uh, great, great stuff. How do people contact you? Well, you can get a ticket at SternStormingLive.com, and you can book your personal branding Sternstorming session with me at SternStorming.com. SternStorming.com. And for that event that we talked about, which is happening in September, yes, SternStormingLive.com. Daryl, always great to have you in the pro- in, on the program. You, you just you know your stuff, and uh, and you're passionate about it. We love having you. Get out there and start marketing your personal brand. There you go. Gang, don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk just ahead. You are listening to the Experience Pros Radio Network. For the archives of this program and all the other programs that we do, check out experiencepros.com. Back after these messages. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. 
America's home for positive business talk. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. As a small business owner, your focus should be on your customers and providing a great customer experience. You shouldn't be investing time and energy on bookkeeping, accounting, and taxes, but somebody has to do it. Trust Teresa and her team at Luna's Accounting and Tax. Teresa and her team will take care of all your bookkeeping, accounting, and taxes. They'll keep you informed and streamline the process. Luna's Accounting and Tax keeps your business compliant and up-to-date, and they'll give you the great customer experience your customers have come to expect. Free your time and gain the peace of mind to keep your focus on your customers. They will help you too. Call Teresa at Luna's Accounting and Tax today. 720-323-4917. 720-323-4917. 720-323-4917. Or visit lunastax.com. That's lunastax.com. That's lunastax.com. Se habla espanol. Hi, this is Dave Anthony. Tune in to the Retirement Income Planning Show Saturday at 8 a.m. to learn about how you can create an efficient and optimized retirement income plan that looks at your investments, taxes, health care, Social Security, Medicare, home equity, and estate planning needs. Learn about the math and science that goes into creating a truly comprehensive retirement income plan that could save you hundreds of thousands of dollars in retirement. Call 800-868-9585. Again, that's 800-868-9585 or online at theretirementincomeshow.com. Tired of paying high energy bills? Gravina Windows and Siding at 950 West Evans in Denver can help. Replace those old worn out windows. Huge selection. Anderson Fibrex, Pella, Great Lakes, and more. Over 50 lines of vinyl, wood, and fiberglass windows and doors. Check out our composite window, the EcoSmart. It's up to 100% more energy efficient. Lifetime manufacturer's warranty. Our glass package is at least three to five times more energy efficient with a glass breakage warranty and free rescreening. Gravina Windows and Siding in Denver is accredited by the BBB with an A-plus rating. Over 100,000 and customers and counting. Financing's available. Larry Gravina serving the front range for over 44 years with my family. Free estimates. Metro Denver call 303 Gravina. Northern Colorado call 970-G-R-A-V-I-N-A and we'll come to you. Gravina's has the greatest windows. Nobody beats us. Nobody. This is Dan Kaplis. A wise person once told me, if you don't have a seat at the table, you are going to end up on the menu. I think that applies directly to personal injury and wrongful death cases. If you're not represented by a highly accomplished law firm, the insurance company is probably going to eat you for lunch and you'll never even know it. So if you want to make sure that you and your claim are treated with the respect you deserve, give me a call. We are a serious firm for serious cases. And for 30 years, we have proven our ability to go up against the best the other side has to offer and to win. Our personal injury clients include everyone from the poorest of the poor to CEOs, teachers, farmers, police officers, doctors, lawyers, and professional athletes. We are able to make the vast resources of our firm available to good people from all walks of life by taking righteous cases on a percentage fee basis. You can reach me at 303-770-5551. That's 303-770-5551 or dancaplislaw.com. That's dancaplislaw.com. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit aigdirect.com. If you're young and healthy, you don't need life insurance, right? Yeah, that's what I used to think too, until my brother died at 38. Joe left his wife with two kids, a mortgage, and a stack of bills she couldn't pay. Mary had to sell the house and move everybody into this tiny two-bedroom apartment just to make ends meet. I never want to do that to my wife. So I got life insurance. I called AIG Direct and was really surprised how affordable it is. Just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. Listen, if you have a family, you should seriously think about getting life insurance. You'll feel a lot better having it. Trust me. Call AIG Direct for a free, no obligation quote. The call takes less than five minutes and you could save up to 70%. Call now. 1-800-400-1942. That's 1-800-400-1942. 
1-800-400-1942. Every summer, hundreds of homes experience hail damage. Did you know that you should have your roof inspected when a hailstorm hits? If hail is large enough, your roof may be damaged. Sometimes hail damage cannot be viewed from below, so do not wait for your roof to start leaking. Get a free inspection today and make sure insurance will approve your claim. Trust the locals. Trust American West. Call today for more information at 303-364-3647. That's 303-364-3647. Or visit awestroofs.com. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie, Eric Kramer hanging out with you. Actually, Angel's hanging out with her family. She's on vacation today, so you've got me. And uh, we are working our way through a fantastic program, thanks to Daryl Stern, who just joined us, uh, sternstorming.com, or if you're interested in his three-day workshop, sternstorminglive.com. Uh, great, great conversation on personal branding. And I, I just want to uh, back up in a minute and just revalidate what he just said. Uh, sometimes I think some things are so simple as to be profound and we, we, we skip over them because they kind of fade into the, the buzz of a regular life. I mentioned during Daryl's segment with us that the, uh, the, 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 the ism and osophy of experience pros, if you're not familiar with that phrase, Turn up the volume and listen up. Isms and osophies. We call them Eric isms and angel osophies. You can call them whatever you want. They're the mantras by which we build our paradigm for, for work. And one of those is where you go, your brand follows. In an earlier segment, I told you about the difference between, you know, people who say, well, I've got my profile for college and my shenanigans, my uh, sinful youth. And then on the other side of it, I've got my professional, I'm wearing a tie. I even started a LinkedIn account. And and those two things, many people still want to believe are separate. If we learned anything from the web 2.0 revolution that has happened in the last eight, nine years, we can clearly describe the fact that that line has been blurred and that who you are goes with you wherever you go. That's the ism and osophy. Wherever you go, your brand follows. And so I, I want to challenge our listeners today to think along these lines. Is what you do as you're driving down the road, you know, you're driving down the interstate, is that the actions, the attitudes, the behaviors that you display while you're driving down the road, in traffic, whatever the case may be, is that in line with the marching orders and or mantras that you put out from a professional perspective? For instance, if somebody decides to cut you off and go a little slower in the lane that you're driving in, how many fingers do you use to wave? That's a good question. I think you all know that from time to time we're tempted to eliminate fingers as we wave and, and, uh, and perhaps just point out with a single finger, your personal attitude or disposition. Is that in line with your company's brand? Is that in line with what you purport to be uh, in, and say about your business and so on? You know, a gentleman who is a fantastic, he's just fantastic at what he does. I'm not going to go into the, the, the business uh, genre that he's in. But he's really good at what he does. But almost everything that he is good at is counteracted and discounted by the fact that he is full of vitriol and poison on the social media, especially as it re relates to his political agenda. And, you know, I don't know the company that can stand on the legs of, I am going to right out of the gate, shoot 50% of my contingency <laughs> and, and hope to get, you know, get by with that. So where you go, your brand follows. So be consistent with your brand. It goes right back to uh, what, what uh, Daryl Stern was saying. 
Consistency is such a critical piece. Consistency across all boards. So for whatever it's worth, uh, I, I think that it's an important piece to the puzzle of how to be a good leader. We were earlier talking about how to be, uh, if you're afraid of risks, how to become bolder in that. Let, let, let's revisit that for just a minute. I told you that you need to fight the negativity bias. You have to realize that risk is, you know, the only risk is not taking risks. That's Mark Zuckerberg's comment. You need to be intelligent with the risks that you do decide to take and step up to. Here's one for you. Ralph Waldo Emerson quotes, he says, all life is an experiment. The more experiments you make, the better. All right. Well, he was onto something. In, uh, in their 1994 study on risk and decision-making, entrepreneur researcher Norris Kruger Jr. and strategic marketing professor Peter Dickinson, or excuse me, Dixon, discovered that small measured risk-taking behaviors can increase confidence and self-efficacy. The I think I can positive psychology that enhances every goal. If you're like me, I had to go look up the word self-efficacy. And it was a psychologist, Albert Bandura, who defined self-efficacy as one's belief in one's ability to succeed in specific situations or accomplish a task. So in other words, I'm able to do something because I believe that I'm able to do something. Put that into perspective with the comment that, well, Ralph Waldo Emerson says, all life is an experiment. More experiments you make, the better. You know what? The more you make experiments, the better you get at making them. And so the more risks you take, the more positive your risk experiences become. The idea of risk-taking still makes your palms sweat. Try to, try to increase your comfort level by taking a small risk before embarking on a bigger one. Another is an anosophy here at Experience Pros. Don't let the pendulum swing too far in one direction or the other. Because as the pendulum swings, no one, as it's swinging with momentum, no one has the opportunity to grasp and, and, and get on for the ride. So build your self-efficacy. Building confidence in risk-taking doesn't necessarily mean you're going to take smart risks. Some risks don't work out, and, and we understand that. Failure is part of it. Build in parameters or conditions for each risky decision that you decide to make, because as you make those risky decisions and you cross over those parameters, you will discover that there's a commonality between the things you should never do, and there's also a commonality between the things you should do more of. So there's our, our little conversation on being afraid of taking risks. I understand it. Most entrepreneurs wouldn't, uh, you, you wouldn't think that most entrepreneurs are afraid of taking risks. But in fact, risk-taking, being built in, doesn't mean that we don't feel it when we fail. We're going to take a quick break. Going to go to the top of the hour news. When we come back, more positive business talk. This thing just got started, and it's getting better. Stick with us. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact the Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or contact them on the web at experiencepros.com or on Facebook and Twitter at Experience Pros. If your customers love you, we want to know you. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. KDMT are met at Denver. Denver's only business radio station, Money Talk, 1690 AM. A bit of a rally. So at the close, the Dow was one point lower, but the NASDAQ was up by 40. And oil down 4% today, closing at around $45 a barrel. Shares of all the big defense contractors saw gains today because of the latest missile test coming out of North Korea. 
and the threat of a possible military response. The biggest decliners today, shares of auto parts sellers. That's after sales at O'Reilly Automotive fell a lot more than forecast last quarter. O'Reilly shares today tumbling 19% lower. Shares of advanced auto parts down 11% in sympathy. AutoZone down 9.5%. Automaker Volvo says it'll stop making gas engines in just two years, switching to hybrid and all-electric engines for all of its cars. And with sales in a slump, high-priced jeans maker True Religion, the latest retailer to file for bankruptcy. Tom Busby, CNBC. Everyone's talking about Spike's The Mist. It's coming! What has happened out there? Collider gives it four stars and calls it a must-watch. This is Judgment Day. The New York Post says it offers king-size chills. Few things are more beautiful than destruction. And the San Francisco Chronicle calls it perfect summer viewing. There's something in the mist. The Mist, from a story by Stephen King. Tomorrow at 10 on Spike. Watch the first three episodes now on Spike.com, the Spike app, and on demand. Life's never perfect, but as realtors, we know living it in the perfect place can make a big difference. Imagine hiding from your screeching children in that spacious walk-in closet. Watching the neighbor's dog poop on the freshly sodded grass you negotiated during closing. Dropping your cell phone in the toilet of the spa-like five-piece bathroom. Again. <laughs> so get the perfect place to house all of life's imperfections. Get Realtor. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Gabe Peters. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un says his country will conduct more tests until it has nuclear-armed missiles that could strike anywhere in the United States. A day after North Korea tested its first intercontinental ballistic missile, Kim says the weapons program will never be up for negotiation and his country will demonstrate. say the ex-convict who killed the police officer in her vehicle in the Bronx ranted online about his treatment in prison and about how police get away with killing people. 48-year-old Mia Sotis Familia was making notes near the end of her shift in an RV-sized police command post when Alexander Bonds walked up and shot her once in the head. Responding officers caught up with Bonds about a block away where they say he pulled a gun on them and was shot dead. He was 34 and had been paroled in a robbery case in Syracuse. The dead officer was a 12-year veteran of the force. Warren Levinson, New York. Pro-government militias wielding wooden sticks and metal bars stormed the Venezuelan Congress on Wednesday and began attacking opposition lawmakers during a special session coinciding with Venezuela's Independence Day. Four lawmakers were injured. One of them, Americo de Grazia, had to be taken in a stretcher to an ambulance suffering from convulsions. On Wall Street, the Dow down by a point, but the Nasdaq was up by 41. More on these stories at townhall.com. Ever since, Big Tobacco was sued for deceiving millions of Americans with misleading ads and bogus scientific claims, ordinary Americans have been paying the price in insurance costs, health care, and loss of friends and loved ones. And now, Big Tobacco must pay. Over 25 years ago, these tobacco companies agreed to a master settlement agreement where a minimum of $206 billion was to be awarded to 46 state municipalities. These billions are being used to back interest-bearing investment vehicles by states who are receiving that settlement money from Big Tobacco. Savvy investors have been taking advantage of these investments to get virtually guaranteed income, and now you can find out how to get your share. Money Map Press, an independent financial publisher, and editor Keith Fitzgerald have created a research presentation on these programs that you can attend free. Visit TobaccoMasterPayments.com for more information and to view the presentation. Call 800-282-3487 or visit TobaccoMasterPayments.com. That's TobaccoMasterPayments.com. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate. 
collaborate. Weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk 1690 and moneytalk1690.com. Keep our schedule full, seasonal incentives. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dan Cicchini, Done Right Home Improvements. Now is the time to call and save a full 12% off all services for select install needs. 800-362-8370 or drhi.com. It's me, your heart. High blood pressure is serious, and I can quit whenever I want. Just treat me better. After all, we're in this together. To get your high blood pressure to a healthy range, visit heart.org slash blood pressure. A message from the American Heart Association and the Ad Council. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best-selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing. It's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. Very nice to have you along with us today. We are here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business and to find how do you do to you uh mrs tussie is is on vacation and so you've got me today i'm opening up the phone lines for your conversations comments and uh whatever you'd like to, to discuss that number if you'd like anytime during the program we got another hour here together 303-632-4160 303-632-4160 303-632-4160. Feel free to call that right away and get into the queue. Let's, uh, let's have a conversation where, well, when Angel's not here, I love chatting it out with our, uh, our listeners. So let's, uh, let's start that conversation by you picking up the phone and giving us a quick call. Today's, uh, hashtag tag kindness act of the day is to be uplifting to somebody. Uplift someone, lift someone up. Think, think about this, uh, and I give this story at the, the top of the first hour. Uh, a couple of days ago, I got a phone call from a friend, or actually a text from a friend, and the text was uh, a little alarming, a lot alarming. It said, I was diagnosed with cancer today. And immediately I went into response mode, started replying to the text with, with a text, and I stopped myself and I said, no, 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 no wait a minute. I'm not going to reply to this with a text. Uh, my friend just said, he's got cancer. So I dialed the number instead and spoke to his voice and said, listen, I'm here. Let's, let's come on over. And remember, you don't have to do this by yourself. And he just broke down and cried because that's what happens when people go through things like that. And we spent the day together just, you know, impromptu. Let's, let's do life together. And it motivated me to think that today's hashtag kindness act of the day, uh, kindness act of the day would be to do something uplifting, to be kind to someone instead of being our knee jerk reaction is, is to be reciprocal, right? If somebody did you wrong, you, you complain about it. You share that story with your, your pallies and, and, and so on. So just be kind. lost somebody of of tremendous value to you or, or to them whatever the case may be let's make the assumption that kindness is a step in the right direction it's your hashtag kindness act of the day <clears throat> i like to troll the news to see if there's uh anything worth reporting of course you can get all the regular news from all the regular news sources. That's not why people tune into the Experience Pros radio show, and we know it. So I've decided to uh, give you some news that you might not find anywhere else. There was a couple driving through a park that borders Botswana and South Africa, and they actually captured a video of a wildebeest calf chasing a car. Why would this wildebeest calf, ch- and, and for, for miles, why would uh, why why would this beast will the beast calf chase the car? Well, apparently, the blue Hyundai in the video looks just like Mama. 
You can't make this stuff up. The, uh, this couple who said they were driving through the, uh, oh, I can't pronounce that, a wilderness park, which straddles the border between uh, the two southern African nations when they spotted this baby wildebeest chasing a blue car ahead of them on the road. Probably lost and thought that they had taken the car in front of it as its mother. Knew it was a natural instinct for him to follow the biggest moving object closest to him as he would have done in the herd. Video shows that wildebeest chasing the blue car, nearly ending up in a collision with another car traveling in the opposite direction. Finally, the wildebeest decided to switch chase to chasing the car that almost struck it before turning its attentions to the other, the, the third car in the story. Since they were concerned about the wildebeest safety in the area due to the presence of lions and cheetahs, oh my, and everything worked out okay. But the little baby wildebeest chased that car for like four miles. Here's another story that you're never uh, probably going to hear anywhere other than this. You ever, you ever, do you ever think to yourselves, God, you know, they've got the, the people who, who make art. I think they call them artists. These guys, some people make such abstract art that you look in the, in the, you know, at, at the, the paint splatter on the canvas and you go, I could be an artist. I could be featured in this gallery. And then, of course, most artists realize that they have to die before their art is is worth anything. Enter Spike the Beetle. That's right, Spike the Beetle, a stag pe- <laughs> a stag beetle in Japan, has become an internet sensation. Why? Think about a stag beetle, folks. If you can't picture it, it's the one with the big, huge claws on the front of its face. Mandibles, right? Big claws. Well, what do you do if you've got big claws? You carry a big marker. And somebody thought, I'm going to put this marker in its pinchers. And sure enough, they uncapped the marker and stag, or excuse me, uh, Spike, the stag beetle, now walks along pieces of paper dragging colorful markers wherever they may go. Sure enough, it's art. Post was retweeted more than 65,000 times, received nearly 170,000 likes. She decided to make Spike his own profile. This is this the uh, owner of Spike, the stag beetle artist. He's got his own profile to show off his artwork. Now has more than 9,000 followers. <laughs> And I think to myself, I could make art. You know, just give me, give me, give me a marker, and and I'll put it in my pinchers, and I will make art. I don't know if it's the same because I'm not as cute and adorable as a stag beetle. Here's another one for you. You've heard the phrase "everything's bigger in Texas." Well, it seems to be true. Headline: Texas man. Reels in a monster 964-pound tiger shark. Think about this for just a minute. 964 pounds, a 1,000-pound tiger shark. He went into a fishing tournament and came out first place after he spent three hours reeling in the 964-pound tiger shark. Sergio Roque said he was participating on Sunday in the 55th annual tackling time tackle time finish I'll say that again. Tackle Time Fishing Tournament. Hosted by the Texas City and the uh, Lamarck JCs. When he hooked something so strong, it nearly flipped his boat. It's the hardest fight I've ever had in my life. The strongest one. He he told the local television station, when I first set the hook and it pulled me straight across the back of the boat, pulled me straight into the corner and slammed my knees onto it. And I'm thinking, you're going to need a bigger boat. True story. There's a photo of him with his prize-winning 964-pound tiger shark. Looks to be about 12 feet long. Wow. Everything is bigger in Texas, I suppose. And, uh, wow. I used to to go fishing on the coast of California. We we got sand sharks and and things like that. I've never caught anything quite that big. Uh, But, but wow, that is a, a big old shark. 
right there. That's your odd news for today. Probably not what you were expecting, but gosh, you're welcome. Uh, you know, you never give up because you, you, you may be trolling in the pond and that big shark of the next customer or the next big contract or whatever the case might be in your small business may be down below the water just looking for the right time, the right place, and it's going to take up. And, and if you can land it, Boy, howdy, you get the bragging rights for that. All right, um, we are going to uh, to go to a commercial break here in just a moment. And when we do, I want to invite you to check out Experience Pros. ExperiencePros.com and take a look at all the different things that we can do for you and your business. We have uh, training, we have leads groups, we have networking available, and all of it, can be done virtually in addition to the in-live person stuff that we do here in the state of Colorado. If you're listening to this in D.C. or Dallas or somewhere out in Fresno, California, Portland, Oregon, if you're hearing my voice, you can check out the value of the Experience Pros program and try us for 30 days free. Not interested in your credit card? Literally takes 30 seconds to fill out the uh, form, and we'll take care of you. Back after these messages. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Dad, name some good reasons for our listeners to select Ravina's windows. I'll tell you why. We make it so simple for our customers to shop. We have everything. Vinyl windows, wood windows, fiberglass windows, double pane, triple pane, heat mirror, argon gas, krypton gas, bays, bows, garden windows, patio doors, everything. How about colors? Pick what you want. Brown, green, blue, red, whatever. It's never been so easy, and nobody beats us. Nobody. Stop by our beautiful showroom, bring in your measurements, and we'll give you 10% off. Only at Gravina's, 950 West Evans in Denver. Call us at 303 Gravina, Northern Colorado, call 970-G-R-A-V-I-N-A. Best deal in town. Call Gravina's at, no, it's Gravina's. Call 303 Gravina. Or in Northern Colorado, 970-G-R-A-V-I-N-A. Or visit their beautiful showroom at 950 West Evans. And remember, Gravinas have the greatest windows. Nobody beats us. Nobody. This is Dan Kaplis. Our firm is dedicated to always being on the leading edge of the practice of personal injury law. That includes game-changing, next-generation technology, nationally respected experts, and innovative visual tools that help us bring our client's case to life for the purposes of settlement or, if necessary, trial. We only accept a limited number of cases, so we're able to devote to each client our full arsenal of technology, skilled attorneys, and staff. We are a serious firm for serious cases, and we make the vast resources of our firm available to good people from all walks of life by taking righteous cases on a percentage fee basis. If you'd like to talk with me about your case, just give me a call or email me through our website. There's no charge for an initial consultation. 303-770-5551. 303-770-5551 or dancaplislaw.com. That's dancaplislaw.com. Celebrating 18 years as the leader in investing and trading education. Following your system has been fantastic. Yeah, I really appreciate the work you do. You're, you're really an inspiration. Well, all of the tools you've put together for us have just given us so much confidence. I have learned so much. It is absolutely incredible. And you're really one of the best I've ever heard. I've been with you for about a month and a half now, and I'm already up 7%. Financial education is, in many respects, the most important education you can get, and that's what they're getting from your show. You guys have always been great on the service side. I have so much more confidence than when I'm in my trading. Phil, keep up the good work. I love the chart. I've been in this business for 45 years. And you are the best. And I've been following you, I guess, about nine months right now. And you've just done a great job. Listen to Phil, join the gang, and you'll never regret it. If you're serious about securing your financial future, then contact Phil'sGang.com or give them a call at 877 600 Gang. 877 600 4264. That's 877 600 4264. If you're sick of living paycheck to paycheck, listen up. This is Preston Neely, and I'm about to blow your mind. You want to know the big difference between you and the rich? It's not your job. It's not your skills. It's not your education. Here's the truth. Rich people make money in real estate. 
And it's not rocket science. Let me prove it by sending you a free copy of my smash hit selling book, How to Get Rich in Real Estate. Just call 1-800-700-2962. I used to be so broke. I had my electricity shut off nine times, but I figured out a simple way to make money in real estate that doesn't require any cash, credit, or even manual labor. Now I'm living the dream and I can show you how. Listen, here's the other thing about rich people. They don't pass up the deal of a lifetime and neither should you. My book sells online for $19.95, but I'm giving away free copies now. Call right now to find out how to get your free copy while this offer lasts. Call 1-800-700-2962. That's 1-800-700-2962. This. Yes. Is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. We do want to interact with you live on the program and it will give you a number here if you want to call in anytime during the next uh, 40 minutes or so. 303 632 4160. 303-632-4160. Feel free to pick up your phone and engage in the conversation. Happy to have you on the program. Thank you to our friend Sally, who has shared our program by way of Facebook Live. We appreciate you. All those of you who are watching by way of Facebook Live, feel free to go ahead and mash that share button and let people know that there's something positive happening in the small business community and across major market radio as well. Uh, uh, uh. The seven habits. Now, you're probably familiar with the seven habits of highly effective people. Uh, but I came across an article that recently, uh, that Kat Bugard, uh, wrote, and it's seven habits of irresistibly engaging conversationalists. And you may su- find this as a surprise unless you are a regular listener of this broadcast. I don't consider myself anywhere near an irresistibly engaging conversationalist. I love talking on the radio. I love being on stage. I've been uh, in in show business of one sort or another for decades now. But one-on-one, I tend to fail in the irresistibly engaging conversationalist category. So I found this article because I need as much uh, insight in this area as as perhaps you do. And if you've got some comments that you want to join with us, again, that phone number to call in and, and join the, the conversation, 303-632-4160. The seven habits of irresistibly engaging conversationalist. Number one, they listen. People who are skilled in the art of conversation know that it's often more about listening than talking. As a result, they genuinely are interested in what their partner is saying. They actively listen rather than simply waiting for their own turn to speak. After all, they know that the more engaged they are in the conversation, the more engaged the other person will be as well. Our friend uh, Gary Barnes talks relentlessly about the value of active listening. And I agree with him 100%. I think that, that the biggest part of conversation isn't the talking. And we, we know that only 6 or 7% of, of all communication is done with verbal communication. The rest are those nonverbal cues that we give off with our rolling of the eyes, the slumping of our shoulders, the mirroring of the behavior. There, there's a thousand different things that, that we do to tip off the tone of our voice. Uh, all of those things tip off where we're at. But honestly, active listening is probably the thing that's going to help you the most. And the reason we say it's going to help you the most is because as you listen, first of all, most people like to hear their own voice. So you allow them the opportunity to talk and tell them, tell you their story. As they're telling you their story, they feel rewarded because they are validated by the fact that they're doing the talking. Secondarily, active listening affords you clues that will give you insights on how to channel or direct the conversation. So 
consider that uh, the one of the seven habits of engaging conversationalists, they listen. Number two, they make eye contact. And there's probably nothing worse than speaking to someone who continues to scan the room over your shoulder or does the not-so-subtle glance down at their watch or their phone, which indicates they'd rather be pretty much anywhere other than where they are. Skilled communicators understand the value of eye contact. When someone is speaking, they look directly at that person. This demonstrates that they're devoting their full attention to the conversation, and usually they can expect the same in return. Irresistibly engaging conversationalists ask questions. This is what I'm learning here. I agree with the, the, the first couple of points. You know, we make eye contact, we listen actively. This is where, this is probably the biggest growth spot for me in, uh, in, in, in recent months, and that is the asking of questions. I used to tease Angel about the fact that she would ask so many questions, just drive me crazy. And, and ultimately, she's a skilled communicator. She's the one who's, who's saying, all right, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of understanding. And the biggest challenge for me is with every question, I have to remind myself, not, not just Angel, but anybody, if you're asking me questions, I don't have to go on the defense. I don't have to think that I'm being attacked. But instead, they're just seeking information. If I provide the information, we get to close that door and move on. So asking questions is a huge thing. Prompting the other person to dive deeper into certain topics shows they're interested in engaging in a two-way conversation rather than standing on their soapbox and blabbering on about themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're talking about seven habits of irresistibly engaging conversationalists. They go beyond small talk. This is something I think I do well uh, because I can't stand the shallow end of the pool for very long. You know, most memorable and impactful conversations typically don't result, revolve around the small talk pleasantries. They do go a little deeper, a little below the surface. Most engaging conversationalists aren't afraid to stray away from the standard starters. You know, how did you learn to meet that person? Or how, who, what brought you in, in contact with this firm or, or whatever? Those are conversational starters. But then they go down and, and, and they're okay with going into the deep water, if you will. Irresistibly engaging conversationalists tell stories. There's nothing more interesting than an anecdote, which is why so many conversationalists weave them into the most seemingly dull conversations. You want to spice up your, your next conversation, your next presentation? Tell a story. Make it interesting. You know, most expert communicators are massively wonderful storytellers. Not only entertaining and attention-grabbing, but they also help to bring some much-needed context and detail to the situations that could otherwise feel far away and completely intangible. And I remember the first time the light went on for me about telling stories. I was reading the Bible. Yes, I said I was reading the Bible, and it said in, uh, I believe it was Matthew chapter 13, that Jesus spoke exclusively through the use of parables. What are parables? Verbal stories, their stories, visual, you know, visualization, uh, giving us an opportunity to understand that uh, the kingdom of heaven is is complex. But if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, there's your parable. I know what a mustard seed is. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, then you can figure that out. Here's another one. They're animated. Telling a story is one thing, but if you recite it in a monotone voice with a deadpan expression on your face, still likely to bore your conversation partner into tears. Be animated. And then they keep things moving. No dead time is good time. So no dead time. Keep things moving along without taking lengthy breaks or spending too much time on dull topics. So that when you do use a break strategically, it's part of the intended effect. Then that makes a difference. We'll be back right after this. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk.
The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and Money Talk 1690. You've been thinking about getting your concealed handgun permit for a while now. Security and peace of mind, self-defense, and home protection, all valid reasons for your concealed handgun permit. You don't need to delay it any longer. Now's the time. DCF Guns in Castle Rock has a concealed carry weapons class. It has a $200 value, but for a limited time, you can get it for just $100 only at DenverHalfPrice.com. That's DenverHalfPrice.com. This class is intended for new and experienced shooters looking to apply for a concealed handgun permit. The class exceeds the state of Colorado requirements to apply for your concealed permit. This course by DCF Guns in Castle Rock teaches the basic knowledge, skills, and attitude for owning and using a pistol safely. That's a $200 certificate for a concealed carry weapons class for just $100 from DCF Guns and only available at DenverHalfPrice.com. That's DenverHalfPrice.com. That's DenverHalfPrice.com. If you're drowning in IRS debt and can't afford to pay, then you need to take advantage of special IRS tax programs that are available and free or from IRS collection efforts once and for all. Due to the financial hardship consumers are facing during the decline in the U.S. economy, the Internal Revenue Service has made it easier to settle delinquent tax problems. An open phone line has been established by Community Tax for consumers to call and see if they qualify. Take down this number or store it in your cell phone, but call the Community Tax Helpline at 800-461-8937. If you owe back taxes to the IRS and cannot afford to pay them back, or even if you have years of unfiled tax returns, there's no need to fear anymore, but you have to call the Community Tax Helpline today at 800-461-8937 for the help that you need. Don't take on the IRS alone. They can attack your wages, savings, pension, home, and even your social security check. Call 800-461-8937 for your free consultation and to see if you qualify. That's 800-461-8937. Need a new CPAP? Then we need you. We're CPAP.com, and we recently overstocked the world's best CPAP machines. Top-of-the-line devices from brands like ResMed and Philips Respironics. Call now and get one of these overstocked CPAPs for a fraction of the price. We'll even give you free next-day air shipping. Call 1-800-900-6135. The best part? No insurance needed. We're giving out these CPAPs at prices so low, they'll cost less than your copay and deductible through insurance. CPAP.com has shipped over a million orders and has the world's largest selection of CPAPs and accessories. With no retail overhead or costly middlemen, we're the best way to get comfortable, effective sleep apnea equipment at incredibly low prices. Again, CPAP.com has overstocked premium CPAPs. Call now to get a ResMed or Philips Respironics machine for a fraction of the price with free next-day air shipping. Call 1-800-900-6135. If lines are busy, please try again. That's 1-800-900-6135. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk. Talk 1690 and MoneyTalk1690.com. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag FanBrag or calling the Fan Bragging Hotline at 855 FanBrag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel is on vacation, so you've got me here on the program. Thank you for tuning in. Does the American dream still apply? As housing prices climb, many wonder if home ownership is actually even still possible. As 2016 came to a close, housing prices were climbing to new all-time highs all across the U.S. 
Those prices have continued to rise 10% in the last two years, and salaries have lagged a 3 to 4% increase in the same time span. Many people have started to wonder if the American dream of owning their own home is possible. Well, our next guest is going to answer some of those questions. Mortgage coach president uh, Joe Patur has been a technology leader throughout the last 15 years. His mortgage industry designs have always pushed the envelope, and now he's helping the industry embrace a more mobile revolution through mortgagecoach.com. Joe Patur, welcome to the Experience Pros radio show, my friend. Well, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. You know, it's a pleasure having you, although i got to be honest with you, I'm a little bit trepidatious because I, I, I fear that you're going to tell me that the American dream is dead. I, I, is it? Well, not at all. Actually, contrary to popular belief, now is one of the best times ever to go home shopping, to look for that neighborhood that you want to call your own and to plant you know, the future of your family and the neighborhood that you've always wanted. Shoo, you know? right. Let's just take a minute to, to breathe a collective sigh of relief with what you just told us, because that is great, great news. All right. So then, Joe, I, I was having a conversation with somebody in, in our office today, and, you know, the, the thought of it was now is probably a good time to go try to get uh, a, a property. If you've been renting, I have been renting for seven years and it, it's time to go out and, and consider getting that property. There are mortgage programs out there that have, that, that many people are not taking advantage of. Can you, can you kind of elaborate on what's going on and, and how we can jump in? Well, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of programs that people just don't know about. You know, inventory is low for affordable housing. Builders are simply not incentivized to build homes that are oftentimes more affordable for the teachers, the firefighters, and the folks that our communities absolutely depend on. Talk to and so many, yeah, many of the homes might be lacking a bathroom or a bedroom to make it ideal for the family of today. There's a loan for that. That's called a 203k loan, and you can incorporate home improvements and expansion into the loan itself. Uh, I think a lot of the communities that listen to your program have veterans, some of which who are actually deployed service members. And the VA program is tremendously underutilized. If you are a deployed service member, a returning veteran, and you have or continue to pay to live on base, you are simply throwing dollars away. There are fantastic programs to put your family in the neighborhood you want. All right, Joel, let, let's go back to that. Two, did you call it a 203K? Yeah, two hundred three k loan. All right, and you said that's good for for improvements. So, which comes first, the mortgage and then the two hundred three k, or does the two hundred three k include the mortgage? How, how does that work? Yeah, the the two hundred three k is a type of mortgage. So, you know, when you look at the array of mortgages that are available, lenders have innovated with uh, great understanding. I mean, today some of the regulations in place have, have made the market effective. There's something called the ability to repay rules. So lenders have to collect a little bit more information, a little bit more data from the typical home buyer to prove that they can repay the loan. But because of that, access to credit, like I said in the beginning of the program, is actually much more uh, available than most people realize. And so what a 203k loan does is from approved contractors and folks that have gone and been vetted by the various lenders and lending communities can uh, include their improvements within the mortgage, sometimes up to 125% of the initial value of the home. So oh. that can be an entire bathroom or a kitchen remodel or things to make it, again, very, very livable. Okay. So then one more question on this, and then we'll move on to the next uh, relevant topic. But if if it's true that uh, there's been a 10% increase in the values of the home and uh, or in the prices, I should say, of the home, got to be careful there. Uh, but only a three to four percent increase in uh, in salaries. Who's the market that we're trying to reach out to? I mean, you got these firefighters and and uh, teachers and and talk show hosts who aren't seeing that kind of a, a competitive group, and yet they're going to be probed deeper to see if they can repay. Well, quite honestly, if you and I sat down and you have good uh, habits of paying your credit cards on time or paying any of your, your credit uh, components on time and sure. demonstrate that, that capability, you today are likely stuck in the rental trap. And the rental trap just comes from a misunderstanding of what does affordability look like. Some people think they have to have 20% down to buy a home today, and that's simply not true. 
can have as little as 3% down. And there are a lot of programs that even eliminate that through down payment assistance or through the ability to uh, get those funds through other resources like gifting or family or all kinds of other uh, components. And so when you really just make the determination that you want to be a homeowner in America, one of the most unique parts about being in America is what we call our 30-year fixed instrument. There is nowhere else where you can get a 30-year fixed home loan. You go just north to Canada, I mean, the loan recasts every five years. And that's really meant to create a path for a particular lifestyle for the middle class so that everyone has an even playing field of always being able to use their home as an asset to do whatever it is they dream of, whether it's sending your kids to a particular college or starting your own business. Now, what happened at some point is that the mortgage professional got casted as a salesperson. Right. And there's still some of those folks out there. But the reality is the majority of great professionals today are advisors and they will talk to you. They will give you graphs and charts. They will have a conversation. They'll use technology like mine to help lay out a plan. And while you might not be able to buy a home today, there's very few people that wouldn't be ready within a year. If you make a few key moves, key planning moves, prove again that you have the ability to repay, pick your neighborhood and and start shopping. Our guest is Joe Patur. He has been selected many times among the 40 most influ- influential leaders in the mortgage industry under the age of more- 40 by Mortgage Professionals Magazine. Uh, Joe, let's talk technology now. You've got uh, mortgagecoach.com, but technology in general has af- has affected the way uh, mortgages are are secured, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's made the process for a consumer much less painful. All right. So if it's just one 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 touch uh, kind of app type stuff, um, who, who's being overpaid and, and underserved? Sure. Well, in a transaction as complicated as something with an asset of a home where tax liens and everything's involved, there simply right. isn't such a thing as a one touch. I think that's a, been a little bit of a marketing illusion. And I think everyone should have a trusted mortgage professional. Doesn't matter if they're a mortgage broker, a banker, uh, if they work for the big guys or the little guys. If there's someone in your neighborhood that goes to your little league games, that, that goes to the, sends their kids to the same schools you go to, that roots for the same team you do, that's somebody who has a vested interest in you being a productive part of their neighborhood. And so you pick somebody that wants you to uh, achieve your dreams and be able to have the home that you want and again, participate the way you want. And so when, when you look at that type of conversation, you, you look at uh, the, what technology has done is when you interact with one of those people, no one should be asking you to fax information in anymore. <laughs> You know, you should be able to take a picture of your information with your phone, or in some cases, some of the more complex things will let you enter your bank information, will just pull the data. So uh, you have to have that, that type of faith. And if you're an entrepreneur, somebody in the past who's been self-employed, who feels that they just haven't had access to credit before, you need to pick up the phone because there's a lot of, uh, of access. Even physicians with tremendous uh, uh, loans and student debt who previously didn't qualify to be homeowners uh, now have programs that take all of that into consideration. Well, wow, you've painted such a great picture, and I can't even imagine using the word facts and physicians that can't afford homes uh, in, in the same interview, but you have done it, and you've done it reasonably. Joe, how do people contact you if they want more information about your services? Well, we set up a, a simple website called I need my TCA. Dot com. TCA stands for Total Cost Analysis. We believe that mortgage professionals that have advice in mind and not price and want to help you understand your path to home affordability will use information like what we can illustrate to help you understand how to make that a reality. A great example I'd end with is that uh, most people don't realize if they just put their Starbucks habit towards their mortgage every month, they'd be debt-free years faster. Six extra dollars a day towards your mortgage could literally pay it off four to five years quicker. Wow. And so folks that use technology like Mortgage Coach that will show you graphs and charts to help you understand how to make the mortgage part of your financial plan uh, would definitely uh, benefit from understanding our technology. So that website will help you understand how to tell your mortgage professional in your neighborhood how to use uh, the total cost analysis. I need my TCA.com. Joe Petur, thank you so very much for joining us. And I'll tell you something. Uh, let's be honest, America. You know you don't have a $6 Starbucks a day habit. You've got a $15 Starbucks a day habit. You can pay that thing off in half the time. Joe, we appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk on the Experience Pros Radio Network right after these messages. 
America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. This is David Davenport of the Hoover Institution for townhall.com. This summer, Commentary Magazine published a forum on the question, is free speech under threat in the United States? Ironically, in a country where the Constitution and the courts carefully protect free speech, many people do not feel free to speak freely. Why? Because of a smothering blanket of political correctness that starts in our colleges and permeates our society. Speakers with points of view that differ from the liberal orthodoxy are not welcome on many campuses, and in some cases, they've been subject to threats and violence. Students are supposed to be protected from so-called trigger words and microaggressions in the classroom. So much for free speech and the open debate of competing ideas. The problem is that the First Amendment protects free speech from limitations by government, but the big challenges to free speech come from our culture and our campuses. It will take a strong fight to protect free speech, which is clearly under threat. I'm David Davenport. Learn more at townhallreview.com. You never planned on getting injured in an accident. You don't know where to turn. Call Boson Law. When you meet with John Boson, you'll know right away you've made the right decision. John will put you at ease and explain the whole process start to settlement. They'll handle medical bills, work directly with the insurance company, and help you get back on your feet. John and his whole staff are amazing. If your whole world has been turned upside down, Boson Law will help turn it right side up. It starts with a free consultation, no money out of the pocket, and Boson Law only gets paid when they win your case. If you're hurt, the call is easy and their number is two. Call Boson Law at 303-999-9999. 303-999-9999. 303-999-9999. Or visit bosonlaw.com. That's B-O-E-S-E-N law.com. Call Boson Law 303 303- 999-9999 or visit bosonlaw.com that's b-o-e-s-e-n law.com will your current career path lead you to financial independence stop worrying about working till you drop losing your job or retiring in poverty it's simple register for our free passive income workshop and learn the seven principles we use to provide for our families and run our businesses We reveal the five reasons you should invest in real estate, and we show you how every dollar you invest in a piece of real estate makes you money five ways. It's time to get this life-changing information. Register today at MyPassiveIncomeWorkshop.com. Stop making excuses. Go to MyPassiveIncomeWorkshop.com. The Boys of Summer are here with in-depth coverage on the Orioles, Blue Jays, and Cardinals here in the Rockies. Well, not Cardinals, but if you want the play-by-play and the bird's-eye lowdown on these and more wild birds, tune in to Bird Talk on 1690 KDMT, Saturdays from noon to 1. You don't need to make folks think we're a sports show just to get their attention. In Colorado, 60% of the population feeds and watches outdoor wildlife. Bird Talk is presented by Wild Birds Unlimited, the original backyard bird feeding special. To learn more about the 500 species of Colorado birds, tune in to Bird Talk every Saturday. We'll bring you interesting interviews, the latest news, and lots of fun and entertainment. Call in with your questions, and we'll help you create the best backyard wildlife habitat to attract the greatest variety of species. We hope you'll join us for the best nature show in the known universe, Saturdays at noon for Bird Talk on KDMT, presented by Wild Birds Unlimited. Until then, happy birding. Hi, this is Oren, owner of Absolutely Cabinets. Since 1989, I've sold aristocrat cabinets for kitchens and baths, and they have proven year in and year out to be a great dollar value. With Aristocraft, you can buy the level of cabinetry you feel comfortable with in regard to construction. If you want all the features without making a decision, I sell Decora, which is a semi-custom line of cabinets with small liquid fronts, dovetail drawers, full extension glides, with soft clothes automatically on the drawers and doors. From basic up, I can put you into cabinetry that will fit all your wants and needs. Thanks to all my repeat and referral customers over the years. Go visit Orin's showroom at 5940 West 38th Avenue near the corner of Harlan and 38th Avenue. Or give him a call at 303-425-5592. That's 303-425-5592. Or visit AbsolutelyCabinets.com. New store hours are 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday and 8 to noon on Fridays. 
The Denver Business Journal and Colorado Business Roundtable present a unique CEO panel event, View from the Top. Join them on Friday, July 11th at History Colorado as they talk with some of Denver's best-known CEOs to explore challenges, opportunities, and lessons learned featuring Jackie Hinman, CEO of CH2M, John Hayes, CEO of Ball Corporation, and Mike Fries, CEO of Liberty Global. Go to cobrt.com slash view from the top to register. View from the Top, July 11th at Colorado History, starting at 7.30 a.m. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. We do appreciate you for tuning in. This is America's home for positive business talk. The phone line's open here for the next couple of minutes before we uh, have to go off off the air. If you'd like to kind of, uh, join the conversation, uh, ask a question, anything related to uh, small business success, marketing, uh, advertising disciplines, uh, best practices, uh, startups, sh- shutting it down, legal. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, but I, I, I can certainly uh, handle questions on a surface level at the, at uh, with, with the best of them. 303 632 Four one six zero. That's three zero three six three two four one six zero. If you'd like to call in, now is a good time to uh, to do that. Now, I uh, I came across a conversation, or excuse me, an article in Success Magazine, uh, excuse me, Inc. Magazine that uh, talked about staying relevant to your customers. And you know, Angela and I talk an awful lot, both in the office and uh, you know for our business, but also here in the studio talking about the importance of staying relevant for your uh, your customers. Your customers are, in essence, the equivalent to our audience, right? Uh, your customers are the ones who are listening to you, following you, participating in, in life and uh, business transactions with you, and they are bought in, they're invested in you. So oh, very important to remain relevant to your customers. And here are some common sense steps that you can follow. Number one, start with your business strategy. A strong brand positioning is the outward facing expression of your real world business strategy. It should reflect your vision for the future of the enterprise. Let's break this down. We had Daryl Stern on earlier in the program, and he said that there's a difference between your personal brand and your professional brand. Professional brand being de- de- defined as when you start your company, you know, Mrs. Fields, we do cookies. Your personal brand is the gentleman who started Mrs. Fields cookies, you know, or, or, uh, or, or whatever the case may be. Start with that business strategy. What is your brand positioning? Are you, you know, ours is we're making a difference in the way people treat people in business. We're creating a revolution in the way people treat people in business. Positive business talk, fan bragging. Those are our business strategies. What's the future? What it should reflect the vision for your future of your enterprise? The future of our enterprise is to make fan bragging a household name so that it equates the exact same reaction and response from people when you hear the phrase pay it forward. Only nobody has to die. You get to say something nice about somebody else in business and the little boy lives. That's a great storyline. That's the vision for, for our business strategy. Engaging your senior team or your key managers, the officers, the, the, the closest allies and assets in your brand will ultimately be the champions of your new narrative. So they need to be involved. They need to feel involved and they need to feel like they're heard. A select few can participate actively in the branding process. But remember, good branding is inclusive, but it's not democratic. We don't sit there and take a vote. How should we decide to go in the direction of our branding for this company? No, no, no. Top brass, one, two business partners, however many you may have, you make the brand decision, you make the direction, but now you include people in that process. And as you do, and they become engaged, they'll become your brand ambassadors. One brand creator, or two if you've got a partnership, and then brand ambassadors. 
By the way, this is, seems like a great time to reach out and say uh, thank you to the biggest brand ambassador that we have in our organization. Her name is Cher, and she is truly our membership diva. She does everything by way of filtering it through what's best for the brand of experience pros. So, if Cher, if you're listening, we love you. Thank you very much. You are the embodiment of being engaged because you are our senior team being that brand ambassador. Third step, look for the white space. Conduct a branding and messaging audit of the competitors that you respect. And don't forget to include your own brand in the analysis. What are the core messages being communicated? What voice, tone, and visual languages are being used? Where is their positioning room? In other words, white space for you to claim that's credible, compelling, and available. This topic talks about it as white space. We went through the, the, the notion of the blue ocean. Same, same concept. Look at what your competitors are doing and say, what are they not doing? How can I occupy that space? We came into the space of extreme customer service by simply doing exactly that, by making sure that we knew, you know, there's some things that we're not doing or some things that, that many people are doing, systems and processes, training and consulting. They're all doing that. What's the one thing they're not doing? And when we started the, the uh, Experience Pros, when we incorporated into Experience Pros, the one thing people weren't doing was uh, extreme customer service training. Obtain insight from your customers, your prospects, your vendors, and your partners. The best source for finding out how your customers feel is by asking your customers how you're doing. Ask them why they like working with you. Ideally, this should be done by a third-party expert to ensure candid responses, but seek out former clients and lost prospects, people who have moved on and left your service. Ask, why, why didn't they hire you? Why did they leave you? And dig deep for some of those insights. It's a potential selling opportunity as well. You can float the positioning direction you're interested in, in to uncover a new need that didn't exist when you parted ways or first pitched their business. Experience pros big on this. We never burn any bridges. Somebody wants to to go and, and try another uh, business you know, model or, or whatever, we, we give them our blessing. Why? Because we know that six months, a year from now, we're going to have new products, new services to roll out, and it might just be exactly what they were looking for. And then they might want to come back. And if you burn a bridge, somebody says, you know what, I'm quitting. You know, like, you know what, don't let the door hit you. If you do that, you lose the opportunity to win back future business. And then tell your story. Here it is right here. You want to stay relevant to your customers? Tell your story over and over and over again. Make sure that people know why, you know, Fan Bragging Friday. We tell the story every single Friday because it's good for business. It's positive for as the tide rises, small business wins. That's good stuff, folks. Don't go anywhere. We uh, actually, you got to go somewhere. We have to go somewhere. We'll be back tomorrow and do this thing, Positive Business Talk, all over again. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionary.